Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Cyclist Bugger, and today I'm going to show you how I painted my tarmac. This is probably a pretty easy thing to do at home. Um, I did it pretty easily. And you save yourself a lot of money as well. I, I looked at it, it was about $400 to do it. Um, anyway, I've, the reason I haven't been done it, doing any videos is that I've been sick and injured, and I just haven't been on the bike. So the next next main video I'm going to do is going to be going to England again, which was the last video that I did. So I'm going back there to, again to look at some crit circuits for the Townsend Cycle Club. So basically I just sanded all of the bike down, and at this point I hadn't actually done it properly. I hadn't sanded it all back properly, and the specialised sticker stick still came through and all that, and I ended up having to put an undercoat and everything. I wish I'd, I'd go back and tell you everything, but basically what you have to do is leave the front derailleur, uh, leave all the derailleurs on, take off the brakes though so you can get in there properly, and just tape up literally everything. And if you've got really prominent things like that specialised sticker there, make sure you put some kind of undercoat on it after you've um, sanded it down, and use some fine sandpaper and wet it a bit but not too much, and cover up all the cables, and take off the handlebars if you can, because they really get in the way. I didn't at this point, because um, the steel tube kept um, screwing around. But you obviously have to take off the fork then, if you're going to take off the handlebars. So this is the first bit, where I painted the blue on, and I hadn't, I hadn't at all um, sanded it down enough. I hadn't even finished taping it up, no. And definitely, definitely leave the derailleurs on, or else they just fall into the bottom forks. Unless you have some way to completely take them off, and you want to like get rid of the cranks and all that. And this is the blue done, and it's um, the bl the derailleurs have fallen in there into the bottom fork, um, and the chains just falling out of it. It was just a mess, really. <laughs> and the blues bubbled because I didn't sand it down well. So you've got to make sure that the, it's sanded down really well. So, that, after that I fixed up all that and sanded it down better and undercoated the blue, I could finally, so undercoated on the specialised bit, or the white prominent bits, I managed to do the red lines on the down tube, which is what I wanted to do um, for the design, and then I skipped all the way to the end because I only had the red top tube to do and the white line on the top. So I didn't actually end up doing as much stuff as I set out to do, because it ended up being really complicated, but I did as I thought it looked really good. The blue um, stands out really well, and I've got lots of comments from my teammates saying how much it stands out. Some of them have been saying that they don't like it, but it's all about my personal opinion, really. But you got you guys, let me know, let me know if you guys like it, and that's the tarmac sticker as well there um, from NQ Sun guys here in Townsville. Obviously, I've put the bike back together there. That's the finished product, and here is a photo of the completely finished product of what I, so what I now call the Bluebird. And that's the down tube along there with the tarmac stick. I was very happy with that bit, and the top tube with the white line. So that is all for me today. Oh, and this photo is of when I first got the bike and how it looks now. So that is all for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.